A cup of Yorkshire tea is famed throughout the world. And for the ideal infusion, like an investment strategy, you need the perfect blend of ingredients. We came together for CityWire North for a refreshing discussion about the best combination of investment ideas for your clients' portfolios. Mariano Matsukato talked about how state-driven innovation diffuses into the private sector. The common assumption is that you simply need to sort of incentivize and take away different types of barriers like red tape and taxation. And actually the evidence, if you look around the world, from places like Silicon Valley to China, Denmark today, Brazil, places where you really have sort of investment-led growth, is that business investment only follows uh, very sort of active, courageous, entrepreneurial state investments precisely in those areas where the private sector is too risk-averse to go. What I mean by entrepreneurial is not obviously setting up a company, but actually the willingness, the ability to create that kind of vision and to actually invest in those areas where you have, for example, very high capital intensity and high technological and market risk, where the private sector is not even thinking yet. I think there's more thought uh, got to go into how the state can react and be more entrepreneurial and you know provide the benefits to the private sector. We're on the verge of an opportunity to embrace transformational technological change and innovation and, and we're at risk of the policymakers not making the right sort of decisions that, that can introduce and encourage that because of the fear of the the social impact. For the perfect portfolio, it's important to be able to strain fact from fiction. CityWire's own Jonathan Miller talked us through some of the myths in the fund management industry. And then when we looked at fund manager analysis, it's clear that experience is more important than tenure and be wary of looking at fund performance in isolation. What we tend to find is that when markets are going in the right direction, it's pretty easy for people to make money. But what we value are the people that have been through the bad times, know how to protect the portfolio and therefore client values. The blend of qualities we look at is uh, the integrity of the manager and that the message that um, he is, uh, is portraying that he actually delivers. Three bedroom properties here in Harrogate, they seem to be going for just shy of 400 grand. And it's quite steep, isn't it? But if you look into a window of a London estate agent, a three bedroom Victorian house by Central European standards derelict, uh, with an illusion of a garden in one of London's least desirable areas that will cost you the annual GDP of Luxembourg. Uh. <laughs> When approaching investment, a discerning taste is vital. Paul Craven suggested that we're not as rational as we think we are when we make decisions. Two shades of grey here. Shade of grey there, shade of grey there, all the way up. They're the same colour. Even when you know that's true, you can't accept the fact because your eyes are telling you something that your brain's interpreting those colours as being different shades of grey. And that's my key point about behavioural economics. It gives us insights into ourselves we didn't know were true, but they're there. Whether you prefer English breakfast or Earl Grey, we hope the last couple of days have given you some new ideas to enhance the blend of your clients' portfolios.